What about a thousand bucks? A thousand bucks buy it all? Am I too early? Uh, you can start looking around. Okay. How much is your receivers and tape decks and stuff? Uh, I think the one in the brown box I've got listed for 50. That's a pretty new. Everything else uh, uh, starting off at $20 each. 20 each, okay. Many of them have books and uh, remotes with them. Okay. I'll start making a pile if that's all right. I'm sorry, there's a sander in a box back there that says pretty cool. Uh, I think all of the power tools, uh, there were only a few exceptions. Um, 25. Okay. And <clears throat> this little feather board. Three dollars. What about your VCR? What are you wanting on that one? Uh, VCRs are pretty common. Let's go 15 on the VCR, please. Okay. Well, I would re reckon the reason why it's a little surface rust is because it's 20 years old. Yeah. Mm. $40? What do you got on your uh, staple guns and your Dremel? Uh, the Dremel, uh, actually let's do uh, 30 for each of those. 30 each, okay. Mm -hmm. Down blanket. This stuff is kind of light, so keeping this out of the end is fine. What are you asking on the walkie talkies and the uh, empty uh, cases? Uh, five each. So, I've done enough damage for one day. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 30 for this, and then another 80. So, yeah, 225. See if you come up with the same number. Yeah. Perfect. Cool. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm going to go to the car because I think I got some more 20s. Sure. There you go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And I think I'll just uh, pull right up here to make it a little easier to load. Morning. How are you this morning? How much is this stuff here? I've got iPods and a calculator. Uh, and that tape thing. <coughs> Twelve for all of it. Sold. Okay. Is there more? 
Actually, there's not. Okay. But I'll tell you what, next weekend, if we would have coordinated, we're friends, if we would have coordinated it, she's having a heck of a one. Like, oh, yeah. On the other side of the street. Have a good day. Thanks. Thank you. Good morning. Is that for tennis balls? It's for volleyballs. Volleyballs, okay. Yeah. Maybe it was something sport related. Yeah. See your cleats, do you have any uh, bats or gloves? Um, actually we do. Yeah? Um, let me go grab some actually. Hey Kyle, can you go grab some? Hey, how's it going, man? What's your name? Reed. Nice to meet you, Reed. Yes, nice to meet you too. Love your content, oh, man. Oh, thanks, man. You find yeah. stuff? Uh, not really, man. I just got started. I just got a convention oven. Oh, nice. Yeah, but yeah, I'm just yeah, no, picking over the scraps. It looks like some people got here early. Oh yeah, yeah. This one is supposed to start till like nine, so it's kind of early. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome, man. Out in the wild, Cincy Picker. Nice to meet you, dude. I love your content, man. It's the proof that, like, you know, if you can just prove that you do what you say. Yeah. You know, and it doesn't have to be all fancy and flashy with like edits and everything yeah. going on. I'm a horrible editor. <laughs> I'm yeah, not well, good hey at man, all. your content is awesome. It's tremendous. I appreciate that. Thanks, yeah. man. Yeah, good luck today, man. Hey, good luck to you. There's a lot out today. I hope so. I've passed so many sales. It's crazy. Yeah, that's tremendous. This is all we have here that people okay. sell. Okay. So Thanks for pulling them out. Sure, no problem. We're grabbing and going here. How much do you need for this one? I don't know, what, five bucks? Would you do three? Because sure. it needs a new grip? Okay. Sure. Here you go, thank you. Great, thank you. Good luck with the sale. Thanks. Morning. Morning. Is this your greeter? Yeah. Hi. Right. <laughs> <laughs> She acts like she wants to come say hi, and then she goes, no, I'm scared. Oh. You got a bunch of cards. Yeah. One of my hobbies. Yeah. <laughs> How much would you need if I bought your whole box? Um, probably fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred bucks. I think I'd have to go double check. I can't remember if I took out. I know I took out a couple of the, the higher dollar ones. There's still probably four or five cards in there that are well over a hundred. Probably two, two or three hundred. I think. There's a. If you look under the Royals, there's a real nice. Uh, um, Bo Jackson. Oh, yeah? Um, I think that one's still in there. Um, oh, yeah, the uh, this one? Yeah, with the bat dot. Yeah, that's and cool. 90 bucks. Oh, yeah, 90 bucks. That's actually more than that now, really. On real life, but I priced those a while ago. I think it's not really low, too. Yeah, number to five, five out of five. About a thousand bucks. A thousand bucks buy it all. Um You know what? A thousand bucks, I'll do a thousand bucks on it. Alright. You got a deal, my friend. Thank you. I uh, I don't want to mess with trying to edit part them all out. Sure. You know? Yeah, there's a lot here. Yeah, I mean there's a lot of good stuff in there. If you're taking on the shows and parting them out, um, that's a it's that's probably that's a good value. But all right, I don't have a thousand on me, but I've got a few hundred at least. I'll run up to the ATM. Okay. There's two hundred. Okay. Give me maybe ten minutes, and I'll run up to no the problem. ATM yeah, and bring you another eight hundred. I appreciate it. No problem. No, I mean, that's a good deal if you're selling these out, right? Yeah, because there's a um, there's a judge rookie in there that. Oh yeah. Uh, 
it's the judge um, uh, 87 Reds rookie is in there and there's a yellowish chrome rookie in there. Oh, awesome. So, yeah, you did okay on it. It's just, it's, I hate. <laughs> piecing it out, everything. Piecing sure. everything out. So if you're I going totally out, that's perfect. I appreciate it, man. Thanks again. Oh, no problem. Feel free to count that because they're sticking together. Uh, I just went up to the UDF ATM. Yeah, I got some money out of there yesterday, too. They were all new bills, too. Perfect. Appreciate it. Good morning. How much are your golf clubs? Uh, I think those are 20. 20 for the bag? Uh, I don't know how much for the bag. Oh, I mean like just for, is for it 20 for each club or all the clubs? That's a good question. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Do you have the uh, five mm -hmm. iron? Uh, it's a mismatch, you know, whatever's yeah. in there. Yeah, okay. What are you asking for the driver? 25. 25? Okay. Or 20. What it's is this thing? Iron. Is this a yeah, yeah, it's, it's not the ones that matches iron. the other ones. Oh no! What is this guy? That is a. Um, it's an antique um, ear thing, I think. No kidding! Doctors. That is cool. Can't get it called. off of there. What are you asking for that? It's got a thing on the back. I don't know. Twenty-five no, bucks. It's like a little twist. Maybe worth okay. something. I never really okay. priced it. How about well, twenty bucks? Yeah, you can have it for twenty bucks. All right, I appreciate it. Pretty cool. Cytoscope. Not something you say every day. How much is your guitar? Uh, 75 from. Yeah. Alright guys, I am back at the shop and this was a crazy day. I spent so much money. I've never spent a thousand dollars at one garage sale. I think before today the highest I'd ever spent was like 500 or 600 dollars something like that so a little bit nuts but i got a lot of stuff i got it all pulled out i'm gonna show you guys what i found all right a lot of the stuff from the first sale i pulled into the front room here so we've got this sound blanket by brinmar so this is just like a little covered blanket for a compressor i got this for five bucks and it's going for about 50 bucks I got to this sale at 6.45 and they were opening at seven and he was really nice letting me shop early. His prices were already good. So like with the combination of like him letting me shop early, his prices were reasonable. I didn't try to talk him down on anything. I was just like, that's fine. Let's make a pile. I'll pay your prices. This is a Techniques uh, receiver, SAGX190. I don't think it's super valuable. Um, since it has the box, I might be able to get 50 or 60, maybe a little bit more. I mean, it's got all the packing and everything. I don't think it's brand new or anything like that, but probably in really good shape. I paid 20 for that. Then we got some Pioneer pieces. This is, let's see, what is this? A CD changer, I think is what it is. I didn't even open it up. That was 20 bucks. Here is a Pioneer tape deck. This one I think is probably worth more than the CD changer. That was 20 bucks as well. I got this Sharp VCR for 15 bucks. And then in the totes here, I've got two Boss Stitch uh, like nail guns, staple guns. They were $30 each. I didn't price out this one, but this one right here looks like it's on for about a hundred bucks and they're both brand new. This is brand new as well, a Dremel Contour Sander Kit. That was 30 bucks and it's also going for around 100. And down in this tote, I got 50 Slim Jewel cases. These I'm just gonna keep because I sell a lot of video games like disc only sometimes and I need a case to put them in. So these are gonna come in handy for me. Let's see, this is the manual for the uh, Royal Typewriter in the other room. I'll show you guys here in a minute. I got two walkie talkie packs. I think there's two in each. These are Uniden and this is realistic. This is actually very similar to the ones that the kids used in the Stranger Things show. I don't know if it's the same model or not, uh, but they do have some good value, especially since it's got the original box. I think that'll help it. These were $5 each. Okay, here's the Royal Typewriter I was telling you guys about with the manual. Paid 20 for that, and that's actually selling for about $100, $120. I was really surprised when I looked that up. 
Got another Pioneer piece. This is a double cassette stereo. I don't know, it was Pioneer and it was with the box. So for 20 bucks, I didn't question it. I'm like, that's fine. Pioneer is a great brand to find for stereo equipment. At one sale, I got some random electronics. Um, this is a newer iPod. I've actually never seen this uh, model before. I got that iPod, this iPod, this iPod, uh, TI-84 Plus calculator. It's got some black spots on the screen, so that'll hurt the value a little bit. And this little Panasonic uh, mini tape recorder. Paid $12 for all those five. Got a uh, softball bat at one sale for three bucks. Needs a new grip, so that's gonna hurt it a little bit, but I think it'll sell for about 25, 30 bucks. I thought this was really cool. I've never seen anything like this at a sale before. This is an old Cystoscope. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, by Wappler. So I guess this was for uh, a doctor to um, like look in your ears. That's what all these little pieces are, so I probably need to sterilize that. Pretty neat piece. I gave 20 for this, and I'm not totally sure what it's worth. All right, the $1,000 buy is right here. All these cards and a couple other random odds and ends I got at his sale after the fact. Got this Reds bag for my wife for five bucks, and a Ryan Friel jersey, guy that played for the Reds that unfortunately passed away. Really cool, 10 bucks, had to get that. And all these cards. So I was flipping through them a little bit and I saw some good ones. Right away I knew I wanted to just try to pull the trigger on all of them. He was at 1500 bucks. I offered a thousand, he said okay. I didn't have the money on me because I already spent a bunch of money at that first sale. So I had to run to the ATM and get him some cash, but he was nice enough to set them aside for me until I got back with the money. But yeah, just to give you guys an idea, I think a lot of the names in here, you know, probably aren't stars necessarily but there's so many of them that even if I have to lot them up, I think I'm gonna do okay. I did a big buy a few months ago of a bunch of autograph and relic cards, and I did a lot of bulk lots of them and ended up doing pretty good auctioning them off, um, getting, you know, three, four, five dollars a card on average. Before I end this video, I got a couple of things I'll let you guys know about. First off, Lonnie and I recorded a new podcast, Guys Without Jobs. It's been a while since we recorded one, so sorry about that. If you guys haven't listened to the podcast, I've got a link down below in my link tree if you want to check it out. Also, I'm going to be on Tommy Bernard's podcast, the one that he does with Tracy. It's going to be Saturday, July 31st. Yeah, July 31st, 9 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to see that, I'll put a link down below in the description. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh,